So, what is engine displacement? Engine displacement is the amount of volume swept by the piston as it moves through the cylinder in a single stroke. So I have several pistons over here from several big bores. Um, and uh, here we have a KTM 495 cylinder. So I'll just take one of these pistons. The stroke is from bottom dead center to top dead center. And then from top dead center to bottom dead center. So if you measure the bore, you can measure it with a tool, or you can just um, take the size of the piston and roughly estimate it. And then you put the piston on the bottom dead center and take a measurement from, from the top dead center down to the center of the piston. Or you could also use the stroke specifications right in the manual. And with these measurements, um, you can calculate uh, the engine displacement, which uh, usually for our bikes represented in cc's or cubic centimeters. Um, the uh, volume is an easy calculation as it's just a simple mathematical formula of how you calculate the volume of a cylinder. Calculate the volume of a cylinder, take the radius squared, multiply by the height of the cylinder, multiplied by pi, and this will give us the volume. For our purposes, the radius is the bore divided by 2, since the bore is the diameter of the cylinder. In our case, the height is actually the stroke of the cylinder. It's the stroke from the piston and bottom dead center to top dead center. So let's go through an example. 2002 CR250 has a 66.4 millimeter bore and a 72 millimeter stroke. 66.4 divided by 2 squared multiplied by 72 multiplied by pi gives us 249,194. So that doesn't seem right. However, we need to convert from cubic millimeters to cubic centimeters to get cc's. To do the conversion, we know that one millimeter is 0.1 centimeters. However, we are in 3D space. This is actually a volume of height and width and length. So we need to actually take 0.1 and cube it to get the conversion constant we actually need. So 249,000 multiplied by 0 0.001 is equal to 249 cc's. So on this piece of paper here I've calculated several bikes. I've calculated a CR80, 125, CR250, and CR500. So as you can see CR80 stock is 184.6 cc, so 185 cc's. If we board this over one millimeter we are now at 88.2 cc's which is approximately a gain of 4 cc's. We have a 125 stock bore 124.7 and one millimeter over 129.4 approximately 5 cc gain here we have the CR250 as you can see this one here stock is 249 and if we bore it out one millimeter we have 256 which is approximately 7 cc gain CR500 stock bore 49 c 49 491 cc bored out one millimeter 502 which is approximately 10 cc gain all right so that brings us to our final list here which is um, first off uh, when you bore your bike out um, for example you have a CR125 you bore it out 80 over um, you don't grow on saying oh I have a CR130 I have a CR129.9. Just ridiculous. It's pretty stupid, really. CR125 is a model number, just like CR250 is. I mean, you don't go to the parts store and say, I've got a CR129. Yeah, do you have any parts for a CR129? Yeah, they're the same parts as a CR125. Uh, you don't say, well, I can't use them because that's not for CR129. 
So, and I don't take, always take what they say the model is as the literal um, CCs for the engine. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Um, it's usually a roundabout that size. So it's usually CR500, it's a, it's around 500 cc's. Doesn't always mean exactly 500 cc's.